And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's in every kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio on another Flash Friday, a new season of Flash Friday. Here it is, the first Flash Friday of 2008. Wow! The first Flash Friday was in 1998, so this is year 11 of Flash Friday. Uh, people are still doing it, still doing it. We, uh, we just passed 5 o'clock if you're listening to our show live on the West Coast. And uh, people are leaving work right now. And if you look up and down that freeway, headlights are on everywhere. We're getting reports of thousands and thousands of headlights on. And you as a loyal listener, hopefully, will do the same. Help us promote our program or promote our cause by turning your headlights on. Now, ladies, you've got to give the guys uh, some incentive to do this. And the reason I need you to give them incentive to do this is because, uh, let's face it, the idea here is to show how many listeners there are to promote the program. And we want to show how many cool chicks are supporters of the Lycus way of life as well. So, guys, turn your headlights on, ladies. Show us your can. Show us your knockers. Show us your gazongas. Press them against the glass. Pop them out the sunroof. Hang them out the end of the flatbed. <laughs> Press them against the glass of your very crowded smart car. Whatever you have to do. Let us see those cans, girls. Let's see them. If you see a nice pair of cans, call me immediately and report to us at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello to Holly the Dyke on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Holly. I'm very, very concerned about Dean. Now, you know, this is the biggest uh, the biggest gay festival of the year. You're talking. And you're the, talking about the gay pride uh, parade. Yeah. yeah. We need to. We need to do something because oh, what's going to happen to him? I mean, we need. We need a uh, backup. We need like maybe we don't say we car. need backup in West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get him home because look how he looks. You know now, what? You know what? Guys, you know. You know, you, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna. Bu- I can't believe I'm, can't believe I'm gonna bust this one out. You know, you know why? My, you know why my gay friend didn't want to leave West Hollywood? Why? I didn't want to leave his friends behind. Uh, where is Tom? Where is he living, Tom? Are you gonna escort him? Oh, I'm not gonna give out his address. I believe me. I'm sure. I'm sure the are jungle. I'm sure the jungle drums down Santa Monica Boulevard are already beating that there's a new Italian in town. I think we should stay, get him up to show his support. Uh, that you know, and for you guys to all show your support, you can just dress how you dress. But I think Dean, ha- you know, just to show that you know that what hot trade they're going to miss. Because you know they're not getting any of that trade. Dean tells me, now Dean tells me, and if people have not been paying attention, uh, our Dean, while I was in France, he moved uh, to West Hollywood, which uh, is widely recognized as a gay city. It Uh, is. Although it's full of Russians and Orthodox Jews and other people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But on when the lights go down, hey. There's orthodox. The lights aren't the only thing going down in West Hollywood, I'm sure. 
Yeah, no, there's, you know, but, you know, he's young, and he, he ain't dumb, and I'm not going to say the last part, because that might get, <laughs> that might, because, you know, I don't know. Now, he might not have been spooled, and I've been fooled a couple times. Now you Dean is, really Dean is, I want to tell you about Dean. Dean is young, dumb, and couldn't wait to come to the 90069. <laughs> we, okay, this is what I want to do. I want him, <laughs> you guys, next year or, uh, to have like a, uh, oh wait, no, not next, not next year, this year is the Halloween fest. He could sneak, you guys, all sneak in. Now what do you think? What do you think Dean ought to dress as for Halloween in West Hollywood? Uh, let me see. Are we gonna? Th are you trying to throw him to the wolves? Well, or, I did. Uh, well, Dean's gonna. Or, or do you want him in some leather? I think he'd look good in leather. You, you, you do. Now you will just you know, I'm I'm talking from a, a the dyke side. You know, he's the dyke side. Yeah. Body. Wait, I mean, you Holly is providing the dyke there? point of view here. Yes. I'm not talking like if I wanted to, you know, you do, a, you know, that. Uh, go go all the way there. No. <laughs> I would be beating my thing just like, just like all, you know, and I'm not going to get any further than that. Yeah. But. Think you've gone far enough. Okay. Now, okay. No, you can never go far enough. <laughs> you got to be like hanging over and you're, you know, the one you trust the most. It's holding you by the pants. How many? Di by the way, Holly, how many different strap-ons do you own? I'm just curious. Do you have an array, or do you just have one? No, I just have one. Now, do you do you clean that thing one after you're done using one. it? One leather one. Do you do you like? It's leather. How do you clean leather? Do you send that to the dry cleaner no, down no, on no, Santa no, Monica no, Boulevard? No, 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 what do you do with that? Hold on. Okay. First of all, it's it's a uh, like a half an inch, and and you know you put it on you. Like, yes. you know, you've seen them in the stores like that, okay. But you, the the uh, apparatus is yeah. uh, is uh, not... It's not leather. Extension. It's, like it's just the little, belt that's leather, and the apparatus is like uh, vinyl or not. rubber or something. Yeah, it's, uh, so, it's a thing, you know. It's a, so, yeah, so when you're done using it, like let's say you've had an evening of uh, you, heavy yeah, usage... No, you you put you wrap your thing up, man. Just you wrap like, it up, but how, do you yeah. clean it between uses, or does it of just you, you do? Of course. Do you but, take it out to the cleaners? Where do you where do you take? You no, go like to Top Hat Cleaners you, over on Santa Monica. You, do you you boil it, and then you wrap it with the Trojan or something. <laughs> really? You know? Hell yes. I I had no because idea. It, when you're going from front to back, you can't use the same thing. Uh, <laughs> you gotta switch it around. You gotta switch it up. Toss it up, flip it up, and pow! As and I've I'm told you, I live in LA and I celebrate diversity with Holly the Dyke on the Tom Likas right. show. Because you know, you rock. You do. You rock. I like you. Me and you are the same age, and, uh, and, uh. You'd probably be great to go out and have a beer with. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. You, where are the yeah. where 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 can where can a broad go out and get herself a good cold stiff drink? A stiff one? Yes. From uh okay, the only the only bar like a regular bar like if it was, you know, let's see, uh Rage or one of those places. Don't go by Rage, Dean Dean. Don't walk, don't walk the sun, don't walk the strip. Don't walk. Stay off yeah. San Vicente altogether. And stay off Santa Monica in the nighttime. Unless you got a big old, unless you got, you got a big old dog with you or, you know, uh, you don't mind the, uh, the cat calling because dudes are like horn dogs, you know. I, w I was when, you know, when I, when I'm older now, I'm not as, I'm not as, uh, like I, w I mean, anything that moved. Really? And, oh hell yeah! Now, yes. now you're more, uh, you're you're more uh, um, uh, discerning. Uh, I, you know, I I don't um, like do. I'm not as uh, wild as I was when I was uh, 
when I was in my younger years. Really? I still, yeah, I just, you know, and then I was like into like relationships and then I would get mad and I would like do some really... Oh, oh you're one of the jealous types who used to like get back at people? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I put, one time I put a tape recorder in the bathroom and sent the chicken that I thought was uh, digging on my girlfriend, who was, I didn't really care, you know. It was just a matter of pride. So um, I sent her in there, and she uh, went, and this was before, this was back in 93, before there were all the gadgets. And I got the whole enchilada on the, uh, on the uh, little tape recorder. So uh -huh. I just, when she came out, man, her eyes, they looked like, you know, and, and and then I you know you know started acting like violent, but I'm not like that anymore. You've calmed now it down. I just now. want to hit it, hit it, and quit it. Hit it and quit it. That's it. Have you hit talked to Dean about his? Have you talked to Dean about his history with the Louisville Slugger? Oh uh, well, no! What? Dean has a criminal record. I know for the I know for the uh, for the thing. So he's what jealous. Je no, I think you two had a lot in common over the years. But both uh, it sounds like you both need a little anger management courses or something like that. Yeah, but see, you can't just, you know, I've been to the penitentiary too. And you can't, you know, it's different for for people. And you know, not the county. Jail. You ha wait a minute. You did hard time. Yeah. What 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 was the what was the charge? Uh, drug dealing. Drug dealing. I grew up. I I grew up. Uh, my mom like raised me as like a grifter, so I see. She, it was during the sixties. So I'm lucky. I you know, uh, I'm lucky that you know I'm still alive at this age. And my last trip to prison, I swear to God. How many I times have you been I, in? Um, three. Really? Yeah, it took the third time to really, to really stick. <laughs> I guess so. Um, you know, I was like. My this 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 was going to be my uh, my retirement plan when I got old and I couldn't do anything anymore. How I was, was that? Gonna You're going to put a couple of eight balls in a safe deposit box? What was your retirement plan? Yeah, what I was going to do was I was going to get all hooked up and go like to the bank, and then you know you're set for life. You'll just die in the joint, and you know they're they're terrible. you're not down on Skid Row. You know, because I didn't have any skills when I got out. The guy, the first job I went to, the guy, uh, I wasn't qualified to uh, full towels. It was like, it was so, from the money I was making yeah. to go what I was offered, you have to lie. You huh. have to lie. So now I'm a dog groomer and, you know, I'm doing, I'm, you know, living. I'm not doing what I was doing and I'm not going back. Wow. So, Holly, you're a dog groomer? Uh, is that West Hollywood or somewhere else? No, well, now I'm out here in uh, in uh, El Camino Real. Really? So, we do, yeah, we, I used to go to the... Um, what is the lesbian know, population watch? there? Can you... What? What is the lesbian population there? Where? At, over there? El Camino Real, yeah. yeah. Um, I, you know, they're, they're around. I mean, you know, I don't like... Out and uh, you know it's not like it's like just like straight people. You and know, and the know. name of your business is what? Be my bitch. <laughs> yeah. Can't say that word on the air. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, my boss though, she's 26 years old and smoking. Hot. Have you have have you she, put that puck in the net yet? No, 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 no. She's she's been born, raised in a box. She looks like one of those. Besides in the raised in a box. Besides, besides, you know. I don't know if I want to know what you meant by that. Tom, Tom Likus from Hollywood. Tom Likus with the first Flash Friday of two thousand eight. At 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad, what's up? Doing okay, son. Yeah, I just got out of work, had a rough day. I'm like, man, how can this Friday go any worse? So I'm on the freeway. I turn you on. It's Flash Friday. I'm like, hmm, okay. I turn on my headlights. 
I'm on the 110 near the Staples, and it's like um, traffic. It's like a parking lot on both sides. I turn on my headlights. Hey. The first thing I see on my left is this uh, beautiful young lady. She's in her Camry, and I look over, and she's smiling at me. I look to my right. When I turn back and look at her, there I see a couple of nice jugs. Thank you. Really? Man. Yeah, you just made my Friday perfect. I love that. Yeah. Now, if you were listening to KLOS in the afternoon, would you be getting nice jugs out on the freeway? Uh, I w you just made my whole day, like, it's just thank you, Dad. How great is that, son? I'm proud. Thank you. Uh, can you take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus? I certainly can. Thank you, Jesus! It's one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Christy on the Tom Likas Show. Hi. Hi. Hello, Tom. Hi. How are you? Great. Um, I was just going to comment to you about the sex in the city stuff that you guys were talking about earlier. Yeah. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm an exception. I'm not one of those girls that watches that, listens to that. I do not like that at all. I hate women. I hate women that are like that because I have been in a relationship. I've been in a relationship for seven years, and I absolutely love my boyfriend, and I do not bash him at all to anybody, and I would never do that to him because I totally disagree and dis disbelieve in that. I think it's totally wrong to go to a restaurant and just talk about your boyfriend like that. Well, and um, it's... I think that sucks. <laughs> it's interesting to me. How many women need a girls' night out because they can't meet guys? So they have to go out sex in the city. Let's drink Cosmos and go see sex in the city. It, it, you know, it's no wonder they have no boyfriends. If, if that's yeah, what you exactly. think of guys, that's what you're going to get. Exactly. They're just a bunch of old cougars. They should have called this movie The Flying Leathernecks. <laughs> flying Leathernecks. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm a oh, somebody listener. already did that. Huh? Loyal listeners. Loyal yeah. listeners. Oh? We are very loyal listeners. We both listen to you. I love You're that. Awesome. How You're great awesome. is that? Well, thank you for that. I know I'm in a relationship, but um, I'm actually a really, really good girlfriend, and he's an excellent boyfriend. Is that so? Yes. Mm. Yes. He says that I'm an exception. <laughs> well, they all say that until you're taking all, all, the, all the money out of their bank account, but that's the way it is. No, actually, no. I don't want his money. No, you know, actually, what's funny, I make more money than he does. You know, well, you don't want it now, but when you find him having sex with your best friend, then you're going to say, you know what, I changed my mind. I want your money. He actually doesn't seem like the type. They never do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be with them. Yes. All the other people who got screwed over, I said the same thing. I'm hoping for not that to happen, though. <laughs> so, so were we all, dear. Yes. I'm hoping that he doesn't do that to me. Me too. But, but, but if he does, if he does, darling, you've always got a safe haven. My, I have a safe haven? My <laughs> open palm, yes. <laughs> it's, here, awesome. it's here waiting for you, dear. Oh, well, thank you. Anytime you need it. So I hope things work out for you, but if they don't, you know what number to call. Exactly, I do. Because I've been listening long enough that I definitely know what number to call. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Christy. You're welcome. I appreciate the call. There she goes. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Mary on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How's it going? Good. Good. Hey, first time caller. You're a crack up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here's my dilemma. I've been with uh, my girlfriend for 18 years. Both professional people, life's going along really get great, and then they decide that gay people can get married. I am freaking out. Oh, boy. I do not want to get married. You had the perfect excuse. Exactly. See, I've been saying this all along. Some people think, oh, you're against gay marriage. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I think gay people should have the same right to be miserable as straight people. Oh. And Thanks a lot. I wish, you see, what I wish is that they make gay marriage legal and then make it illegal for straight people. Yeah. <laughs> so then I could say, honey, I, I would love to marry you, but right. it's illegal. It's the ultimate line. It's the, uh, the perfect crime. 
oh my god what am i going to do and she's and then she's like we're not going to talk about it until the day comes well it's like what june 14th it's like right around the corner that's darling that's next week oh my god i'm telling you i am freaking out because we have like the perfect relationship <laughs> any suggestions tom uh well you got to do uh what a guy has to do in a situation like that stall it off as long as you can <sighs> and then uh yeah. That heterosexual invention, you might want to uh, look into that if it really gets bad. Yeah. It's called the promise to make a promise to make a promise ring. Yeah. You know the one I'm talking about? I, but I know, but we've already been together 18 years, so it's like, it's long enough. It's like... No, well, uh, you're not going to say that. You, what you do is when she's expecting the engagement ring. Yeah. I wonder if gay people are supposed to spend two months' salary. I mean, gays and lesbians are a bunch of dinks. Maybe they have to spend three months' salary. Hey, mm-hmm. hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Dinks, double income, no kids. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, not literally dinks. Come on. Give me a break. Uh, <laughs> right. So, so uh, you get her. What you do is like on Valentine's Day, you get her a promise to make a promise to make a promise ring. Yeah. And that stalls them off for a period of time. Okay. We've only kind of like you know gave each other rings, thinking it was you know like ten years ago. What, do you have a commitment ceremony or something? No, we just, to each other, we just kind of gave each other rings and thinking, okay, this is great. Since this marriage is new to you, I want to, I want to remind you of something that may, may not have come to, to your mind, but have you noticed that when we talk about the word marriage, words like commitment and institution keep coming up? Yeah. That's not an accident. Oh, my God. Uh, ask Cardinal Mahoney why they call the place where the priests live a rectory. And the place where the priests learn how to become priests, a seminary. Oh, my God. Think about that. That's yeah. not an accident. Yeah. That's like code they're sending out. Oh, man. I don't know, Tom. I'm, I'm really uh, shaking my boots here. <laughs> it's it's uh, not going to be pretty because I know she's going to want to, and then she's going to ask me why I don't want to or why am I stalling. And You're stalling because you don't want to get married? Yeah, I don't. No? No. Oh, well. Yeah. The way it goes, I'll just—I don't know what I'm going to do. Keep us updated, dear. All right. All right. Take it easy. Good luck. Thanks for the call. Tom like us. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. From Hollywood. My name is Tom Likas. and here we are with Flash Friday. Our listeners are turning their headlights on wherever they are. Turning their headlights on. And the ladies are looking for the guys with the headlights and showing them their knockers. It's that simple. Turn your headlights on, boys. Ladies, show us your cans. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Lisa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Lisa. I listen to you all the time. Never thought I'd call. Keep it up. Well, I just um, caught the very end of um, this lady talking about how she was in a lesbian relationship. Um, I'm not quite sure what your topic was about, but um, I just found, not just found out, but I've been double duped. Uh, my son is gay. My daughter is gay. And um, we're, all, you know, we're all attractive, very successful people. You know, my kids are gr- in their late 20s. And um, so it's kind of like a little family secret here. So this gay marriage thing. Why is it a secret? Pardon? Why is it a secret? Well, you just don't go, you know, you just don't go around telling people, you know. Do, do your kids want it kept secret? No, no. They, they, they're they very proud of it. Um, they're not flamers or anything like that. You know, they're productive people. They all have executive jobs. We're all... Um, you know, uh, nice looking, <laughs> or, um, but, uh, this is the last thing we, we, you know, we thought. So because been, they were nice looking, you didn't think they would be gay? Well, you know, it's kind of, I don't know if it's a reflection on the parent. I mean, I'm, you know, I've been divorced a long time, very successful. I'm beautiful. Um, you know, I'm just, I just, it's not the kind of thing you bring up at a table with people. Hey, you know, my kids are gay. Um, yeah, but you don't, of- but, but, no, but I'm not saying you should say, hey, my kids are gay. But do you hide it and tell them, oh, yes, uh, my daughter's got a boyfriend and my son's got a girlfriend. Do you do that? Yeah. Now, now why do you do that? 
Um, I guess it makes me feel better. But darling, um, you know, your kids come first. Oh, I know, but... What would they think if they knew you were doing that? They do know I do. And they, they like that? Um, they don't really say anything. They don't like they it. Say it as a joke, like, hey, you know, hey, you're going out with your girlfriend tonight or your boyfriend tonight or... Um, but it, it, what you're saying to your kids is you're not proud of them. That's the message they're going to get from that. Oh, no, not at all. They know I'm proud of them. No, not then, at all. But then why do you need to lie about that kind of thing? You don't have to talk about their social lives at all if you don't want to, but why lie? Well, I figure nobody asked me who I with or anything, so why should anyone ask, you know? I mean, it just it just, it just doesn't come up. Well, how does the subject come up that they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Um, well, I'll, they'll say, you know, what are your kids doing tonight? Um, they don't live with me, you know, they're grown, but I'll say, oh, they're going out with their friends or group of friends or whatever. Um, so it's just kind of, it, it was just something that, you know, I, I had to accept because I didn't want to chase them out. So I had, I had to accept it and it's, it's just, that's the way it is. You know, it's a new era. I don't see why it's so hard to accept, frankly. Well, if you had uh, kids, maybe you would know. You know, you think your kids are always going to grow up, get married, and you know, never. It's like the other. It's like the other person. This happens. Well, not many, you. many, many uh, gay uh, people end up uh, with, uh, the, you know, they call them uh, life partners or lovers or whatever, oh. uh, and they end up uh, adopting children or doing in vitro fertilization. Or right. Well, that's very. That's in the near future for me with my daughter, and I, I love her partner. And I think she's actually driving behind me, waving at me, so I think she knows I'm talking to you. There we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, um, I, you know, I, I put it this way. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You don't have to make up stories about them going out with uh, opposite-sex friends. And... No, 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 no. I'm not ashamed at all. It's just... If if it you know I'm not ashamed I'm very well you, you don't have to talk about who they're going out with at all you could say they're adults I don't know where they go now they they do their own thing yeah and I leave do it at that. that I do that rather than first, lying about it no but their friends think it's funny that you know I that both of them are you know they both would tease each other when they were young like I'm gonna tell mom something or I'm gonna tell mom something yeah. and it's like <laughs> I didn't know what they were talking so about. so when they were kids they were saying you're gay no you're gay no you're gay it turns out they were both right yeah they both were yeah one liked dolls and one liked uh, a tool belt every yeah? every kid has had that <laughs> argument with theirs <laughs> you're gay no you're gay no you're gay yeah but um it's just something you don't tell the grandparents because that you know they're too old for that. But um, I've accepted it. It's kind of it's normal for me, and it's um, you know I'm telling millions of people right now, but um, that's okay. They don't know who I am. <laughs> well, but um, in the business world, it's you know when they you know want to see your family and such. And my daughter is absolutely gorgeous, and um, you know everyone says, "Oh man, she must be getting hit on all the time." Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> darling it's not the end of the world there's plenty of very happy well-adjusted gay people uh they're gay and lesbian they're um you know oh yes and 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 here in southern california they are very much a part of the landscape uh, we live in a diverse community here oh do we ever i'm in uh, orange county and it's 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 a it's accepted. I mean, it's not, I'm not embarrassed by it. We go out all the time. Um, we don't, I'm not embarrassed by it all the time. Um, I mean, look out, you want to know how diverse Southern California is? Our, our very own breeder, Dean J. D'Amelio, has moved to a gay city, West Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, whatever makes anybody and, happy. And you know what they all said? There goes the neighborhood. No, if they're productive citizens, yeah. you know. Oh, everyone, Dean is very productive. He has a job. He comes in here every day. Shows up on time. Yep. Screws well, up I, once in a while, but he's Italian. Then that's to be expected. Right. And Tom, I can't even find me a man, and I'm straight, and I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. Yes. Well, s send me some photos. Let me get a look. All right. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a whirl. <laughs> okay, and I've got the same car as you. So. Is that so? Oh, that's great. So you know what the back seat is like. That's good. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> How perfect is that?
<laughs> All right, Tom. Well, that's my that's my story. I've got two of them, so I got. Um, uh, I'm an expert at it. Sounds good to me, Lisa. It really does not sound bad at all. You're lucky to have two great kids. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Rebecca on the Tom Likas Show Flash Friday. Hello. Hey. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Well, like, I was calling because I listen to your show all the time, and I hear you discussing that um, relationships are not for real guys or real women. Um, me and my boyfriend have been together for three years now. I'm 23, my boyfriend's 38. Um, we've been together for a long time. We have open relationships, so there's no, there's, we have the freedom that you speak that people don't have. Why do you need to have a, a boyfriend if you need to have an open relationship? Mm, it's basically, we're, we're partners and we always stick together no matter what. And I'm conscious enough, I'm self-conscious that, um, it's fine that if he goes and messes with somebody else, he's going to be back with me. But I, I don't understand if you, if, if you need to have sex with various people, why do you need a boyfriend? Because you need somebody to support you and what you do. You need somebody to... No, you don't. With you. you don't. Well, I've been... Are you I've incapable of supporting yourself and looking after yourself and encouraging yourself? Well, when you come from nothing, I mean, you have to have somebody. What do you mean you come from nothing? Yeah, I mean, I ha I came here to to the United States and I have um, family here. Where did you come no from? I came from Puerto Rico. Okay, well, Puerto Rico is a commonwealth of the United States, so it's it's not like coming from Bulgaria. Yeah, but anyway, it's coming from, from you know, not having somebody to live with or Did anything. it take long to learn how to speak English? Excuse me? Did it take long to learn how to speak English? No, it didn't. So you did not speak English when you when you left Puerto Rico for the United States? Um, I did take some classes, but... Um, I think I progressed a lot in my speaking, so. You progressed a lot? Yeah, I think you did. So, yeah, I just wanted you to know that, I mean, we have a relationship, everything's cool, and. So, let me understand, because you came from Puerto Rico. By the way, did, did how old were you when you left Puerto Rico? I was 16. You were 16, okay. Yes. All right. And uh, so, and, and what, did, you, did your parents come with you when you left Puerto Rico? No, I came, I came by myself. And why was that? Um, because I just, I just didn't like living at home. I didn't like living under rules. So you ran away from home is what you did? Yeah. Then you hooked up with some older guy who was willing to pay your bills? No, actually I work, I work and he works. Oh, so he's not even paying your bills. You know, he's not paying my bills. Wow. I could do that myself. So you, and it's just just having somebody there always to, you know. So you traded one daddy for another. Yeah, pretty much. Right. And uh, daddy wants to see other girls sometimes, and uh, the daughter is okay. But we with do that. it together. Yeah. All that. That's keep it all in the family. Yeah. No. 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 Um, well, this guy, he's older than me. He's not my father. He's almost old enough to be your father. Yeah, I like older men. Well, I can tell. That, is that because your dad is uh, not in your life? No, it's not because of that. And where's your dad? Well, he's not here. Where is he? I'm back in Puerto Rico. Do you talk to him? Yes, I do. Do you, well, do you see him? No, I don't see him. Oh, so you got your old man and you replace your old man with your old man. I guess you could see that. Uh-huh. And uh, so your thirty-eight-year-old, uh, your thirty-eight-year-old mentor there, he uh, told you that this is perfectly normal to be in a relationship and go bang other chicks. Well, if we do it together, there's no reason. Is he, why he's not, not a I fundamentalist like Mormon or something, is he? Excuse me. Has, has he ever been to San Angelo, Texas? <laughs> no. I'm just checking. And by the way, that's the perfect religion that a guy would ever invent. You know. Oh, we need yeah. to populate other planets with saints. So I need to have eight wives so we can keep cranking them out. 
Well, you're always talking about having, not having the freedom and being single, you can have the freedom to go and bang anybody else, right? Again, there is no point in having a boyfriend or a girlfriend if you, you are going out and banging other people. Well, it's an open relationship and we're both okay with it. Well, live it up. I uh, like women and he likes women and, you know. That, fantastic. So you went to what college, darling? I'm going to Cal State Northridge. I see. And what are you studying? I'm biology. Biology. And what do you plan to become when you grow up? I'm still undecided. Well, I wanted to be a teacher for a while, but... Dear, you're know. 23 years old. Is it time to grow up? Yeah. When do you plan to do that? Pretty soon. What are you waiting for? The right time. I just need to finish school. Yeah, but the time to do it is before you finish school. What if you end up having a degree in biology, but you want to become an attorney? Mm, well, I don't know. All right. It's been a little slice of heaven, darling. Our email address is tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.